In this video, we are going to compare Samsung Galaxy A55 with Redmi Note 13 Pro side by side, and we'll see which one is better. And if you are thinking about to buy one of these devices, this video will help you to decide which device is best for you. So let's start the video. In the display section, Redmi Note 13 Pro has an AMOLED display with the peak brightness of 1800 nits. That means you are not going to face any issue in full sunny day. And Redmi Note 13 Pro has a 12 Hz refresh rate. It means if you are a gamer, this screen will blow your mind. One more plus point for Redmi Note 13 Pro is it has 1220x2712 resolution with 446 ppi. Redmi Note 13 Pro has a big screen with 6.67 inches and has a protection of Gorilla Glass Victus. On the other hand, Samsung Galaxy A55 has Super AMOLED display with peak brightness of 1200 nits, which is also very good. And it also has the 120 Hz refresh rate, same as Redmi Note 13 Pro. And the resolution is 1080x2340 with 402 ppi, a bit low as compared to Redmi Note 13 Pro. Screen size of the Samsung A55 is 6.5 inches, which is a very handy size, and the Galaxy A55 has Gorilla Glass 5 protection, which is a little older. If we compare both devices in IP rating, the Samsung wins here because Samsung A55 has IP67 dust and water resistance, but the Redmi Note 13 Pro has only splash and dust resistance. Security when it comes to security, both phones has under display optical fingerprint scanner and on both sides it works perfectly and both scanners are very fast. Now we'll see the battery comparison. The Samsung Galaxy A55 has a 5000 mAh battery, which is a big battery, but when it comes to Redmi Note 13 Pro, it has 5100 mAh battery, which means the Redmi Note 13 Pro has a bigger battery and more backup as compared to Galaxy A55. The Galaxy A55 supports 25 watt wired charging, but the Redmi Note 13 Pro supports 67 watt charging, which means the Redmi Note 13 Pro charge faster than Galaxy A55. Both phone doesn't support wireless charging. When it comes to the OS, the Samsung Galaxy A55 running One UI 6 with Android 14, but the Redmi Note 13 Pro is running MIUI 14 with Android 13, which means the Galaxy A55 is running latest OS. Processor The Samsung Galaxy A55 has Exynos 1480 octa-core processor with 2.79 GHz, but the Redmi Note 13 Pro has Snapdragon 7 Gen 2 octa-core with 2.40 GHz, and you know the Snapdragon is way better than Exynos. This year, Samsung Galaxy A55 has 6GB and 8GB RAM variants with the base storage of 128GB and 256GB, but the Redmi Note 13 Pro has three variants 8GB, 12GB, and 16GB RAM with the storage of 128, 256, and 512GB. I think the Redmi Note 13 Pro has more points than Samsung Galaxy A55. Both phones has triple camera setup. The Samsung Galaxy A55 has 15 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 5 megapixel macro camera, but the Note 13 Pro has 200 megapixel main camera and 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera. Both phones can record 4K video at 30 FPS. When it comes to the selfie camera, the Samsung Galaxy A55 has 32 megapixel front camera with 4K 30 FPS recording, but Redmi Note 13 Pro has 16 megapixel full HD selfie camera. When it comes to the price, the Samsung Galaxy A55 is available in $399 but the Redmi Note 13 Pro is bit cheaper than the Samsung.
The Note 13 Pro is available in $340. In the final verdict, I think the Redmi Note 13 Pro is a winner. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care and bye.